Super Mario Backpack Buddies, Series 2. All right, today we're gonna take a look at the Super Mario Backpack Buddies Series 2 by a company called Paladome. Paladone, I almost said dome. Anyway, here are the eight. Fire Mario, Fire Luigi, Goomba, Boo, I totally want Boo. Mushroom, Shell, Question Block, and Bullet Bill. Why do I need four of these? I only have but one backpack. And quite honestly, if I hung it off there, the other people in the office would make fun of me. <sighs> we'll worry about that later. Let's get opening, shall we? All right, let's go with number one. I'm gonna come in this little pack. How lovely. Well, that, that probably makes them harder to figure out uh, if you're trying to peek the pack or uh, do a feel up on it. Okay, well, we got Fire Mario. Let's look at him real close here. Um, yeah, he looks pretty good. I was gonna pick on the uh, paint application a little bit, but it's really not that. <laughs> but it's really not that bad. Here's the clip. Very plasticky. Um, I don't know how I feel about that. It feels like this clip would probably break. I'd probably put it on a different keychain if you're gonna use it as a keychain. Uh, that said, you can probably unscrew this from his head and just turn him into a figure. We'll try standing him. Here we go with number two. <laughs> got a little ripper spot I could use, but eh. And what do we got? Oh, we've got a block. Very nice. Plastic feels a little bit on the cheap side. Again, the hook is rubberized. Feels like it might break. It's not not super great, but the look of it's really good. It really looks nice. I like the block. Number three. A mushroom. He's plastic. Don't eat him. And finally, drum roll, please. Oh, please hurry. Fire Luigi! No! All right, let's look at these guys, shall we? And here's Fire Mario. Let's look at him really close here. You can see that there's a little bit of a miss on the mustache. I'm gonna mention later that I didn't notice it, but I'm actually reshooting this scene because I noticed another thing when I was looking at it. Uh, there's a little bit of a paint blob here. And there's a paint blob up here, and I didn't notice it earlier because I wasn't wearing my glasses while I was looking at it. Uh, so there are a couple of paint misses on here. The other ones don't have that kind of problem on them. Uh, but this one does, which is kind of sad. I mean, it, you don't really notice it. From a distance, you don't see it at all. But when you're really close, yeah, you can see them. So I guess don't look at them under a microscope. Next, we have this block, which would be suitable on a purse or something. Looks really nice, doesn't it? I mean, you know, it's a, it's a block. I don't know how I'd feel if this was the only thing I got in the set, but it looks really nice. It represents video gaming well. And uh, if you unscrew this top, it would make a neat little figure for on your desk. Next, we have the mushroom. There's a little bit of a barb right here. It's in the mold itself. You can see it uh, when I turn it a little bit like this. Uh, the paint application is pretty darn good. He looks nice. I like the fact that his little beady eyes bug out a little bit. There's, this is actually part of the mold. It's not just painted on. So he looks really nice. Plus, uh, you can lay him on a desk and take off the keychain and he will be fine on his own. Finally, for you Cult of Luigi fans, we've got Luigi, Fire Luigi. 
He looks mean, doesn't he? Look at that face. That is the face of a psycho killer. <laughs> He's pretty good. Uh, if you look really close to his neckline, there's a couple of chips out of the paint. Uh, I really like the fireballs on both him and Mario. They look really nice. Uh, again, he cannot stand on his own, so he is doomed to the life of a keychain. And here we are, the Fabulous Four. I like the mold and design of each of them. I like the paint application. It's pretty good. There's a little bit of a miss I didn't notice earlier on Mario's mustache here. But I mean, overall, they're pretty good. What you expect in figurines of this size. Uh, you know, I, I'd say the poses are good, but I mean, this one's a block. How are you supposed to pose it? Uh, but one of the problems I do have with it is these keychains themselves feel pretty cheap, and I think they might be prone to possibly breaking, and then you lose this really cool figure. Uh, given that, I think it would have been a little bit cooler if the figures could stand on their own, then you could just use them on your desk or in a display. Other than that, they're pretty good. I, you know, overall, I like them. Uh, but I'm going to give them kind of a semi thumbs up just due to the uh, quality problems with the keychains. Anyway, thank you very much for watching this. If you enjoyed it, give me a thumbs up and subscribe for more. And I'll be seeing you in a couple days. Bye.